Well, hi everyone. You're with Sonia from Angel Light Healing. Thank you for joining me today. Apologies, it has been a little while since I've been on, um, but other things have come up uh, as they do. So I had to um, attend to those as they were very important. But I, as you can see, I've got quite a few cards in front of me today. So I wanted to give you all an extra special reading today. Um, this is a general reading. So I've used a uh, one, two, three, four, five angel card decks here. Okay, so um, as I said, it is a general reading, but I have also shuffled the romance cards uh, for you, for those of you inquiring in the area of love. If you are after your own personal reading, I do these via email. Um, I can do these via Skype as well. It's $35. So send me an email, angellighthealing, L-Y-T-E, at outlook.com. And if you're after a healing, also just get in contact with me as well. All right, so take what resonates from the reading today and just leave the rest. All right, let's get started. So the first card is from Messages from Your Angels, Oracle Cards. And the first card is Zana. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. All right, beautiful green card here. So green is representative of two things. Um, it represents Archangel Raphael, who's the Archangel of Healing, but it also represents your heart chakra, which is green. So this card is asking you to trust and to have faith. Okay, and to relax because you do have the angels who surround you at the moment, you and your home. As you can see, she's in front of a home here. You know, she's promoting, this angel is promoting more peace within you and within your home. But she's asking you that you be open to allowing her to do this and to trust and have faith that, um, you know, everything will work out. So this card relates to past hurts. Uh, relationships, negative circumstances, um, just negativity in general from other people. Um, and this has affected you deeply, especially within your heart. But they're asking you to open up your heart and make room for love. Okay, make room for the new that's coming into your life. Okay, so you've dealt with all the crap. It's in the past now. So it's time for you to open the doors, open the gates of manifestation. You know, you've been asking for this, you've been wanting this, some change to come pl into play perhaps, or you've been wanting to um, promote more peace within your life, or you've been asking for a new love, a partner. So they're saying that, you know, once your um, heart is open and you let go of the past and what doesn't serve you, all that negativity, um, that you know, things will start to fall into place for you. But it's time for you to relax, stop overthinking and really try and relax. Um, and meditation, they're saying, is very helpful with this as well as, as you can see, there's a lot of nature in this card, so spending out, uh, time outdoors. All right, so that's the first card. Now, the next three cards, the butterflies, are from the Butterfly Oracle cards for life changes. Okay, so following on from that one, let's see. And I have my beautiful angels here. Aren't they gorgeous? I love my angels. Okay, the first card from this deck is changing your mind. All right, so I've just mentioned before about, um, you know, going back and forth, um, dealing with negativity. This is about you being in your head, okay? And it's time that you come from a place of love and listening to your intuition, which is your gut and your heart, okay? So, this um, changing your mind can uh, represent you being an overthinker, just thinking um, things too much, you know, changing your mind all the time. Do I trust? Do I have faith in this person? Do I make this decision? What do I do? Yes, I feel good about this, but then you allow your thoughts to come into play and to change your mind. So it's really important that you trust what you're feeling when you get a new idea, when you're making a decision. What's that initial feeling? What is it that you're, you know, that you're experiencing and go with that. Don't allow insecurities, fear or worry or these thoughts to hold you back. Okay? Yes, you can change your mind, but checking with yourself that you feel good about this or are you just hiding? Are you allowing fear and anxiety to get in the way and you're just hiding from the world? Come out of your shell and be you. 
All right, the next card is emotions. Yes, yeah, so this relates to changing your mind and Zana emotions. Have you been emotional lately? Have your emotions been up and down? Okay, so we're coming into the Mercury retrograde. This is going to play with your emotions. All right, so it's really important that you tune into what you're feeling. Okay, and really pay attention to your emotions. So pink in this card represents self-love. Be kind, be gentle, be honest, and be patient with yourself. Okay, so if things don't work out the way you're wanting, well, there's a blessing behind this. There's a reason for this, that it's not happening this way. Okay, but they're saying that perhaps you're um, letting your, um, you know, your thoughts and your emotions take over. All right, and you're getting really down. So it's important that you stay centered, meditate, go out in nature and stay grounded and get out of your head as well. Okay, so the next card, you are stronger than you know. Yeah, so for some of you out there, you've been questioning your strength, questioning yourself. Am I making the right decision? Am I doing the right thing with this person, with the job, with, you know, with, um, it could be anything really. So whatever it is that you've asked um, to get answered in this reading, what they're saying here is that you can handle this. You can handle this. Whatever comes your way, you can handle it. Okay, you're stronger. You're, the angels are saying that you've prepared for this for a long time. So don't back out. Okay, stand your ground. Speak your truth. Do what is needed for you to maintain your balance. Okay, perhaps you've been too much caught up in your emotions and changing your mind about things or worrying too much and not feeling safe. They're saying here that you can handle this. All right, the next card is from the magical uh, messages from the fairies. Walk away. Leave the unhealthy situation and join the new doors that open as a result. Okay, so for some of you, this is what you need to hear. You need to walk away from the to toxic situation, whether that is from the job, from the person, um, it could be anything, walking away from a home. Um, this is unhealthy for you. Okay, but this is also you walking away or removing yourself from these negative thought patterns that you've been, you know, um, battling with internally. So as you can see, the angel in this card, like she has fear in her eyes. She looks worried. She's not sure what to do. They're saying that this situation is not healthy for you. So once you step out of your comfort zone, once you step away from the negative thoughts, once you step away from the toxic behaviors, the person, the home, the job, watch as um, God and the angels are opening the doors for you for the outcome that you've been wanting. And following on from walking away is easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. Okay, so guys, this is confirmation again. Stop being so hard on yourself. Again, the pink flowers, be kind, be gentle, be patient with yourself, easy does it, what's the rush? Okay, this is about you riding the wave, just like this angel is, riding the wave, there's a big rainbow in here, there's dolphins in here. You know, the rainbow's confirming that everything is going to be okay. Everything will work out for you. Stop trying so hard to make it happen. This can re uh, relate again to the job, the love, the home, children, whatever it is that you've been asking about. Okay, just, just take it easy. Don't try and control everything. Don't try and um, control those around you. This is really important that you go with the flow. The dolphins represent time to play. This is about you making time to play, to have fun, you know, to get a bit silly with yourself and also spend some time out in nature. Perhaps you need to be near water, um, but they're also saying again, meditation is really the key here for you to ground yourself. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the next card, which is from the Angel Oracle cards. And I've chosen one card's flown out here. Okay, you got the card of patience. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Okay, what it is that you've asked for will take time. All right, there is no such thing as time in the universe. This is all happening in divine timing for you. So like she's watering the plant here, this is the time of growth. All right, what you've asked for is growing. It's coming about. It will become your reality soon. 
okay so stop trying to control it all right stop trying to control it and just allow the universe to bring your dreams into fruition to help you manifest these dreams time to sit back and watch them grow thank the universe for you know the help that you're receiving thank the universe for the signs pay attention to the signs really important for you your signs could be music it could be feathers it could be angel numbers that you're getting okay but they're saying that it's time that you really be patient and watch as it will manifest for you your dreams are coming true this is positive okay now I have shuffled the romance angel cards for those of you who are asking about love engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so those of you who are already in a relationship wanting to um, go to that next level they're saying that yes engagement a ring is on the cards for you so this is commitment this is beautiful for those of you who are single um, there is a partner on the way okay so for those of you who've been questioning um, you know is the person I've been thinking about the right one for me they're saying yes this is so there is an engagement there isn't a, a uh, can't even say it a commitment coming your way all right this is really beautiful romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring yes so for those of you who you know who are in a relationship they're saying that um, it's time that you have faith and you know that you trust in what you're feeling and your feelings are real and your feelings are real towards this person okay and they're feeling the same way as you do so it's time that you both get together and explore what you're feeling having that conversation the heart to heart conversation that you need to have coming together okay explore these feelings where are you at where how do you feel how does the other person feel the only way to find out is to have an open and honest conversation okay but if um this is a twin flame um you know a relationship they're saying that the person you're thinking about who is your twin flame is having the same feelings as you are telepathically you're both exploring this okay whether that's in your dreams you're imagining yourselves in a you know together romantically your twin flame doesn't matter divine masculine divine feminine they're having the same feelings as you okay so their feelings are, they're feeling the same there's a lot of emotions around this the beautiful um, girl in this picture is wearing blue so perhaps the divine feminines are feeling really emotional at this time as they really want to explore these feelings and they're waiting for their divine masculine to come and do this okay to um yeah to contact them or to um explore these these feelings with them now the last card is soulmate yes this is your soulmate the person you've been asking about is your soulmate all right so who is it that you've been thinking about for those of you who are single um because they're saying that yes there is definitely a connection here okay this person is your soulmate or whether you're in, you're in a relationship and you've been considering you know you've been questioning well am i meant to be with this person there's definitely a deep connection here yes he's or she is your soulmate or your twin flame there's definitely a deep connection between the both of you and they're saying that there is a commitment coming whether this person is going to you know tell you exactly how they feel about you their feelings towards you um the words you've been longing to hear guys okay so this is really really um exciting because all the patience that you've had is you know in regards to love is going to pay off okay so you've left the unhealthy look at this you've left the unhealthy you've left the negativity behind you you know it's time to be um, easy with yourself and have that patience you know you've been procrastinating so much changing your mind you know your emotions are healing old wounds but you're stronger you can handle this you can handle this situation all right so don't doubt and love yourself unconditionally first love yourself and you watch as everything will manifest and come in to fruition for you your dreams are coming true so i hope this reading has helped those of you who are watching um, feel free to comment uh, below and um, 
yeah, if you're after your own personal reading, $35 for a personal reading via email or Skype. More than happy to do this for you guys. And follow me on Facebook and YouTube as well. But wishing you all a beautiful Wednesday and many angel blessings. Take care. Okay, bye.